If you're planning to spend your Halloween binging on spooky Fox shows like Sleepy Hollow, Scream Queens, or Netflix's Stranger Things, look very closely. Yeah, those shows have something in common, and we're not talking about their ability to make you cover your eyes. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken. He's got a, that ability, too, but he's live <laughs> he's in Central coming. Atlanta. Props at <laughs> this coming. point this morning. This is a place that, that helps uh, TVs and movies seem terrifically real, doesn't it? <laughs> Gotcha. You're not talking about me. You're talking about Carvey the Clown. All right. right it's okay. the clown that's scary, not me. All right. And don't don't go into the hole comparing me to a clown. Let's leave that for later. Yeah. Good morning from Central Atlanta. Props and sets. This is the perfect place to spend Halloween morning because many of the TV shows and movies you've seen that have scared the pants off of you. Well, it's this guy's fault right here, Bob <laughs> Lucas. Great to see you. How are you? Hey. Thanks, Paul. It's glad you guys could come out. And oh, I am look at so brain. geeked. You know, I'm so I excited know. to be here We're this morning. Time. So. Well, let's discuss, first of all, for people who don't know what a place like this is or what it does, what is Central Atlanta Props and Sets? Well, Paul, we provide um, the things that go on to movie sets. Yeah. You know, the, the, the fictional environments that are created for whatever the script calls for, yeah. the story calls for. We provide a lot of the things that, that help create that with yeah. the, uh, the, the art direction and set decoration crews mm -hmm. come in and uh, uh, rent stuff from us. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's on a budget. They, yeah. They, yeah. Know, more conducive to rent than buy. <laughs> so we try and have a large warehouse full of everything okay and that's a big understatement to say a large <laughs> warehouse this is a massive warehouse and i told you before if this was your home i would worry about you we, you said you feel like a hoarder sometimes but this is your place of business how much stuff do you estimate that you have could you even put a number on the oh. items that are in here you know paulie it flows so much stuff comes in at, at so many different times i i would I have no idea. Wow. wow. I mean, you have to walk around. People walk around, their jaws drop. Yeah. Just from the sheer amount yeah. of, uh, of volume and types yeah. of things that we have here. Yeah. Yeah. And we try and cater. I mean, I, I worked in the movie industry for over 30 years, mm -hmm. so I kind of have an idea of what kind of stuff is useful yeah. and necessary yeah. and uh, doing the set decoration end of it. So, yeah. uh, uh, you know, I, I kind of know the language. I know the people. Yeah. And uh, it's been really, really good here in Atlanta. I bet it's been a lot of fun. Well, let's point out a few things. Blaze is showing some of your big bears over there. Have these shown up? Up in any projects we've seen before? Yeah, this uh, my grizzly bear here, who is yeah. probably my favorite piece in the whole place. <laughs> uh, he was just in the, in the recent movie Tag. Okay. He was in the in the lodge that they they shot at. Oh, cool. And oh, he just got bear. back from Alabama <laughs> on a movie called Embattled. Okay. So uh, he's he's getting around. My black bear, he's been in. Uh, uh, Melissa McCarthy movie, Life of the Party. Oh, got nice. a, got got a featured close up. So well, you said before this black bear right here is in like every frat house scene in any movie you've seen recently, right? <laughs> Pretty much anything that's been done here that's had a frat house or a sorority thing. My friend here, Bruce the Bear, has uh, you know been dressed up. Sometimes not so nicely, but, <laughs> <laughs> but he always comes back in good he shape. That's the important thing. Uh, stuff like this, where do you get it? Where does all of this stuff come from? You know, when I when I took over the business four years ago, I acquired a lot of it. But mm -hmm. I've got a I've got a really good taxidermy guy here who uh, he just comes across stuff that people bring to him, mm -hmm. and he knows, you know, I'll be interested in yeah. certain things. So yeah. like, I just got this wolf from him recently, and and uh, you know he, he keeps an eye out for me and that's yeah. how I kind of acquire stuff you know I got certain people out there that kind of know what I'm looking for yeah. and things that I know will be useful for the, for the Atlanta film and television market yeah so. very cool well you have a lot of really interesting insight into the Georgia film industry and into the business we're going to talk more about that coming up in the next hour sir thank you so much for letting us be here oh absolutely our pleasure and Thanks. I got to end with this now mm -hmm. the movie Goosebumps was shot here of course actually both of them were there's a brand new one out too so there's a ton of mummies around here and when we walked in, I said, well, where did those come from? They're all from Goosebumps. So if you like them, and those Day of the Dead women over there, the, the skeleton women, those are all from Goosebumps. So if you watch that movie today, perfect day for it, look closely because you'll see some of Bob's children in here, his <laughs> children of the night. I don't know. It seems like some of the stuff you might find in the basement at the Millican house. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that for sure. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I would take all of this stuff. Absolutely. And there's your side. Uh, Not basement, bedroom. <laughs> <laughs>